Hey everybody, it's Comp Help. Thank you so much for watching this video. In this video, I'm going to go over a Photoshop effect, and I'm going to show you two ways to do it. Uh, they're both really, really fast ways to do this, so I'm not going to make them two videos. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get objects in your image colored and the rest black and white. Alright, now for the first way, the first way I'm going to show you is um, to make a selection, okay? I like using my pen tool, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my pen tool. And I have these settings. I don't know why. I just always have these settings when I'm selecting things. Paths, uh, pen tool, and exclude overlapping path areas. I don't know. You may have something better. Um, tell me in a comment. All right. And just remember, there are tons and tons of different ways to do this effect. Um, these are personal, personally my two favorite ways to do it. I see them as pretty fast. Okay. So what we're gonna do is select this turtle. So I'm just gonna select. Uh, you know this turtle here. I'm going to do some rough outlining here and I'll come back when I am done outlining the first turtle. Okay so I'm almost done. I'm just going to connect my uh, outline here. There we go. I know really really rough just whatever for the sake of the tutorial. Of course when you outline your stuff you want to be a lot more detailed and stuff. And since I have my first one selected I'm going to hold shift and or don't even have to hold shift. I'm just going to start um selecting my next turtle here. By the way, I took this picture in San Francisco when I went on a trip over there, so yeah, that was pretty neat. I don't even know where the foot is right there. Okay. And, you know, just really rough. Whatever. Okay. Alright, so now we have our both of our turtles selected. Now all you have to do is right click and go to make selection make the feather radius like three or something and what that'll do is just smooth out all your uh, rough edged uh, you know um, outline okay so now you have the two turtles selected and you're gonna go over to select inverse so now everything else is selected and not your turtles and you're gonna go to image adjustments desaturate and there you go now your turtles are in color and the background is in black and white Hold control and press D. And now you have your turtles in color and the rest is in black and white. Now this is probably this is probably not the best image to use this on because the um, colors aren't as vibrant and stuff. But you kind of get the idea there. Alright, so that's how easy that one is. That's using select. Now we go ahead and show you how to do it a different way using um, a new adjustment layer. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to get the uh, background black and white by using an adjustment layer. So all you have to do is have your picture open, okay? And I don't know, just double click your background if it's locked. I don't think you have to do that, but uh, just go to layer, uh, layer style actually. No, it's not. Yeah, new adjustment layer. <laughs> Sorry for that. New adjustment layer, gradient map. You click OK. And you can select, you can pretty much make your gradient whatever color you want, but I'm going to make it black and white, okay? And you can double click these, you know, and get whatever you want there. But uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use black and white here and click OK and OK again. All right, so now you should have something that looks like this in your layers uh, panel here. And you're just simply going to select your brush, get a nice size here. Remember, you can use the um, open and end brackets to... Uh, make your brush bigger or smaller. Okay, so that's a nice little Photoshop trick there. Make sure you are on black and white. You can select this right here to automatically go to white and black on these two colors. Now, select this like invert uh, button there, like two arrows to switch back and forth your colors. Make sure black is selected and just color in whatever you want as color. So when you're in black, when you have black selected, whatever you color will turn colored. As you can see, you know, you can color that. And then whatever you have white, I'm going to select that again. It'll go back to black and white or whatever you selected as a gradient, okay? So you can just go ahead and paint in the turtle. You know, so this is pretty rough, but uh, let me just go back here. Make my brush a little bit smaller and uh, yep, just painting in my turtle. Just like that. Okay, and I'll paint this little one too. See that right there? 
And there we go. Now those two are in color and the rest is in black and white. That's how easy it is to get that. So thank you for watching this video. I just showed you two ways to get objects in your image uh, colored and the rest in black and white. I hope you enjoyed this. Sorry if I took too long to explain. Uh, when you do this, it'll be so fast, so easy. And yeah, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you really like this video or if you saw it interesting in any way. Maybe you already knew how to do this. Maybe you have a better way to show me. Go ahead and post it in a comment and, you know, and tell all the other viewers how you do this effect. Alright, so remember again, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out my links, which is comphelp.com, which is my website. Check out my blog at comphelp.info. Check out my Twitter account, follow me, twitter.com slash comphelp. And don't forget to check out how I make money online and how you can make money online by going to cashcrate.biz. Alright guys, so thank you for watching this video. Um, that's about it. Peace.